Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for, for season 4, episode 3 of Supergirl. This time, if I'm not wrong, the title of the episode is Men of Steel. And I'm very, very excited to watch this new episode of Supergirl. The previous two episodes have been very good, consistent. At least they don't seem to be forgetting what is currently happening. Supergirl has this uh, br brilliant idea to not forget what happened in previous episodes and just move forward with whatever it is that they want. And they took, they take weird sh shortcuts in the story. Then Danny actually you are led to, oh yeah, well that happened, so this can happen. And it's not very consistent, but I feel like this season they are trying to do that. At least, you know, last season we closed everything with uh, Rain and with all of that and with, with Monel going back to the future and Wynn going with him. Uh, so yeah, we have that. But then this season, you know, we are, we left off actually with a big cliffhanger because not big cliffhanger, but kind of a cliffhanger uh, with Supergirl getting, you know, the girl, the very bad hot girl that is now threatening uh, National City. She made the device uh, spread kryptonite on Earth or, or National City at least. And it's affecting Kara, of course. And she was going down as the episode ended. Uh, so we, we don't know what's going to happen there. But I'm very, very uh, intrigued and happy to watch this new episode of Supergirl. I mean, happy for every single character minus one. And uh, you guys can, can guess which one it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I hope you guys are excited as well. I almost hit that in my face. This almost hitting my face. Anyways, uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Supergirl. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. I might do a premiere for this episode just to see how things go. If you don't know what premiere is, is the first time this episode, this reaction goes live. I'm going to be there on a, on the chat uh, talking to you guys. This is pre-recorded, but I'm live on the chat talking to all of you about the episode. So we can chat there if you guys want. I don't know if I, I did it or not. I don't know what time I'm gonna be able to edit this, but it's early. So I figure maybe I will be able to do it. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, truly, truly enjoyed this reaction video and also continue supporting for more reaction videos uh, for all the shows that we love. And I said, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also go to Patreon for the full uncut reaction video for this episode and for the previous two episodes as well. I'm doing uncut reactions for the entire season of Supergirl in case you guys want to check that out. And that's about it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season four, episode three of Supergirl. My home from anyone that means to cause it harm. Oh, Sam, I miss her so much. I am Supergirl. Supergirl. <gasps> She's going down, down, down. Oh my God. The city, it's everywhere. Fuck! Supergirl, do you read me? I don't think so. It was in Nevada. I'm on it. Oh, yes, 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 go save her. Sean. Well, you arrived very fast. Okay. Come on, Supergirl. Kryptonite radiation, the impact will kill her. Oh, shit. He will make it, don't Come worry. On. Get her, girl. He, he, he's gonna make it. Are you kidding me? Oh shit! Oh my god, Pokara! Oh yes! Of course you do! Does she have to leave to Argo? We have to do something. Yellow sun radiation should help. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Can you do a, like a, a box so we can put her on? Like this. So, Sean, I can fix this. Yeah, of course I you can. can. Fix her. Yeah, 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 of course you can. I am not losing my sister today. Of course not. I've got it. <gasps> oh, shit. She sees him. I know this. A spirit. I just, yeah. I'm just saying, she cannot, uh, 
you know, this is affecting her. But don't they have a trans thing, transmodal thing? Trans, I don't know, that thing, that arc thing that she can go into Argo, th that didn't work. We can ship her with Jean Scar. What, what happened to Jean Scar? But we can ship her to Argo for a little bit until we fix this, right? I don't, I don't know. Who, who am I? To no shit. I don't know. Won't give up. Two but years I can't ago. Do it alone. I need oh, your this help is the again. time where Melissa you. couldn't be here to, to record. Help. Yeah, They're sure. Going back. We can all leap. To Maniac was weeks ago. Maniac. It's Myriad. Oh, that's right. Also, at this Project time, Astra was Myriad. still alive. No, she was dead. Stupid already. name. Just saying that, you know, aliens are resilient like cockroaches. Yeah, yeah that's not the die, best way to compare that. They survive bitch. and infest someone else. Back, relax and have hope. Is that it? Meanwhile, no, but our they're good, they're good people amnesty? and bad people. Good amnesty. aliens, bad aliens. So you tell me, George. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? They're your employees. They'll listen to you. Because I want them to Please. stop. The workers, same as you. Oh my God. Oh shit. How did that hit him? Oh my God, stop it. Oh shit. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Funny that you can see her face. Oh! It has some long hair. I used to love that hair. Like, I love the one she has right now, but I used to love that hair. Mm, they're lucky people. <laughs> that the Supergirl went awful. very, very easy on them. It was an assault. What do you call this? That you guys started. <sighs> they started that. Supergirl was just... The real question is, why are they working against us? They're not working against you. You guys started that. Oh! See if we can't do something for the children's oh hospital. God. Maybe a fundraising. Two years ago, look at her. <laughs> Changing from Luther Corp to El Corp. Love help. this. Uh, Miss Luther. Just because it's the March of Progress doesn't mean he has to be left behind. She's a businesswoman. We stand Lena Luther. What? Like seal? Oh, she likes to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. That's a joke to him. I'm gonna go off script a little bit. Fight who? You know who. Roaches. George, George, stop it. Sorry. Okay, we might. Yeah, that's most of what you do, right? Talk, talk, talk. That's how what you should civilized be people do. Go out there and be a man. Dad. People of Earth, Where? do not be afraid. <laughs> we come in peace. We have crossed uh, the sea of stars help in order to bring point. you a new You're way. Saying? A better way. That's so bad yourself. Oh, they're about to kill them. Oh my god. How are they gonna fight? This is a Toxamite! Fighting a merchant! Uh, yeah, how about you put down that fire, though? Oh, shit. But you did see that the merchant helped you, right? Next oh. question. Um... Cat! Alright, Longbeard, go ahead. I love cat. What color is the president intending to paint the blue room? I miss her so much. Blue. People have lost possessions. People have lost. It's important. That is also people important. People have lost their homes. Um, behind these numbers, people who are hurting, and it would be so okay, very I can see his helpful point. if you would just tell their stories too. Professor Lockwood, I. Oh, he's so close. Appreciate minded. your position, and I'm very sorry, Miss Luther. No, I'm not busy right now. <gasps> he said, "I'm not busy right now." What a bitch. Nativist. So you're telling term me term often used in a derogatory fashion to describe those learning who how fear this dude became question a liberty you. dude. What's wrong with those? He's a liberty dude, right? A be very stupid. From the outsiders. If he's not, I will feel very stupid if he's not. How does the human worker compete? Anyone? You cannot how does the be human against worker compete against immigrants. It's so it's so bad what he's proposing you know because he says oh yeah it's okay to bring people into america but what about aliens it's like in if you apply that to real life which happens you know america is, is uh, like trump saying 
all the awful things they say about Mexicans, you know? And it's very against that type of immigration, but very welcoming of people from Germany and from all of, all of those other places. Now, for I, I know that the native people of America are the native American people. Everyone else is just a result of immigration. Same here in Peru. Like, uh, I, we have people who are, you know, descendant from the Incans, but then we are all a mix between Spain and, and, and African culture and all of that. And, and I, I don't know, it's how can you say it's okay to bring some of, some of these people, which are, you know, very nice looking people who are very good just because of the way they look, but not this one because of the way they, they are skin look like how fucked up is that? You could live to die or not a question of culture. It Why is a question of biology and from In that context, <laughs> I should but be the proud. The sad thing is that there will be someone who natives. believes this crap. This isn't nativism. It's xenophobia. Yeah, it is xenophobia. Oh, can't say I'm surprised to hear that from someone with your complexion. Be See? Oh, this bitch! And everyone is allowing this? If you allow... Okay, thank you, thank you! Thank you to those two people. Because if you sit, if you stand, if We've you don't do anything, you class. are part of the problem. Ooh, ooh, millennials. Still. You know what my family's going through. I can't lose this job. Then you need to be more reasonable. Students, ben. Thank you. We're a university. You brought this on yourself. Dean that Warren, true. I'm... That's true. Keep saying things, bitch. Do not dare to touch that kid. Fired? This is my job. This is my oh, livelihood. Fuck you. I have a family. I didn't say anything, but I'm not surprised someone did. Oh, someone. Oh, absolutely. Because oh my I'm god, so we can kill this bitch. Look at you. You're what do you mean by they? Oh, this bitch. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? We had a run of political enemies? Yeah, Fired. no one is concerned about it. Watch it. Sorry, my bad. It's just an accident. Oh. Uh, was it though? Whatever, dude. Oh no. Keep spreading the good word, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, you stand tall. So to be a racist, pretty much. Proud. In a lock one. So he died a racist, putting another racist to go nuts. Awesome. Yeah, of course, Phil is hard with more hate. Awesome. Never given. Oh, Lena, look at her. She's so, she's so nice. Some nerve coming here. What the hell? I just wanted to pay my respects. I had the chance to give respect when I asked for help, but now my dad's gone, so it's a business. Okay, Ben, listen, this is... Let's mind what they are. That's really... Oh, well, shut up! I you know what, Leah? You don't know him anything. Okay, but you can't go... No, I'm not. I'm it's a defense... Defense mechanism. You're an alien. Don't. No, I actually oh met him God. once. And I thought, oh... Nothing you could do. What? No, there's something we can do. Come on. Somebody else for help. Yeah, true. Lena! Oh my god, yes! Look at her. Lena, where is she? Oh, right, we like, oh. She's this way. <laughs> where is she? Where is she? If you tell me she's not in love, fuck you, you are just kidding yourself. Listen, I know that you and that you're always here when we need you. Yeah, that's true. Th nice thank you. you. Thank you for appreciating Lena Luther. That is what she deserves. Me, but I care. Yes, you do. I really do. I love those two. Into a spring-loaded two-millimeter. Yes, because she's Super a girl's genius. Have to stay inside this until we figure. Yeah. Do it. I love that she trusts Lena so much. Ah! Uh, oh my God! She even made it with this. I love Lena. We stand Lena Luther. Not even Brainy could figure this out, but Lena Luther, Lena Kieran Luther was able to do it. We stand a genius queen. Okay, guys, that was the end of season four, episode three of Supergirl. Uh, you know, 
it's a very interesting way. The, the if I'm not wrong, uh, the actress who plays Supergirl, Melissa, uh, she was at Broadway when the first weeks of shooting started. So they had to do something for them to film two episodes without her being there. So they filmed episode three and four first. And then when she came back, they filmed episode one and two. And then proceed with the rest. Um, the thing is that since she was out, she couldn't be that involved in this... Um, in the storyline and all of that. So this is the way they did it. Which actually totally f fits. And I understand what why we needed to take an entire episode to know how a racist, a xenophobe was born. Is it necessary? No. But it's what they needed to do in order for Melissa to do her Broadway thing that she was doing. So I'm okay with it. I don't have uh, a problem. At least we didn't have lanes. You know, we had like a little bit of lanes, but we didn't actually see them together. So kudos uh, for the, uh, to them for doing that. And like, thank God, because I cannot handle lanes. Uh, so I will rather see something like this than see lanes. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, I will rather see a racist. No, that's not what I'm saying, you know, but I just don't like lanes. Thing is that in this episode, I think that uh, they did a good job. Uh, at, at making us see this point of view, but don't didn't they didn't try to force the idea that this is wrong to our face, but just showing this. So for people that uh, have you know that we are more empathetic and we know we are not racist or homo or homophobic or um, xenophobes, uh, we understand that everything that happened was wrong. You know, uh, this right now, you know, yes, you might say this is based in America, you know, in, in, in what is currently happening in the United States. But it also, is a, for me, it's a reflection uh, on how this works. And this is in anywhere. Like, for instance, right now, here in Latin America, a lot of countries, we are being um, introduced to a, a big float of people from Venezuela they are seeking for refugee in most countries in Latin America. Peru is one of the countries that have the most Venezuelans uh, uh, here in our country. Our economics are not maybe the best ones in the world, but for people in Venezuela who are suffering from uh, 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 lack of food, medicine, and, and just living like with a lot of uh, problems, economically uh, speaking, they are, you know, coming into Peru, Colombia, Chile, Argentina. Like, we are having a, a lot of immigrants from, from there. And, you know, at the beginning, oh, it was okay, you know. But then there has been some points where, and I'm going to talk about only my country. I know that the other countries have this uh, issue as well with people uh, not being comfortable with the fact that we are now uh, having a lot of our brothers and sisters from Venezuela here. So people believe, you know, that they are taking jobs from us, that they are, uh, you know, uh, that everyone is, you know, uh, they they all steal, they all, they all uh, uh, do all sorts of bad things. Um and and it's it's just as relevant for for people here in Latin America than for people uh, in the United States. So uh, the 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 major thing I feel for my country is we are not used to having immigrants. We are a country that you know we immigrate to other countries, to uh, Europe, you know, or to the United States. We immigrate. We don't. We don't receive people that much. You know, the the last big uh, immigration that happened here in Peru was uh, with Chinese people or like people from Asia coming here, and we have like a, a, a an entire culture here, and it's acceptable, and it's not 
uh, looked upon, I, I think. But now, since is this, this second wave of people coming in, uh, there are very xenophobic people who are just, you know, sick of people from Venezuela uh, and, and, and just, you know, being mean to them. But just as there are bad elements coming in, there are great people also coming in, you know. Uh, there are, they are, you know, I don't feel like they are taking our jobs. It's just, you know, supply and demand, you know what I mean? It's, you have to work harder, maybe, you know, to... Um, try to be to uh, have a job and you know you have competition we have more competition you know um but it's it's very unfair uh the way some people treat uh our brothers and sisters from venezuela uh and for other countries as well you know i'm guessing um but the thing is that you know there is no excuse to that You know, people always say, oh, yeah, but they come here. To that is, I think, the base of being a xenophobe because everyone th thinks that, you know, and I don't believe that they are. I don't, they're looking for a way out from a country who they don't even have, you know, uh, food, basic needs things. So it's, it's for me, it's more like, okay, I went out, you know, Uh, help a, a brother because Peru has also had you know problems before and I'm, I'm I, it was a long time ago when Venezuela also you know had a be better economy and helped some people f uh, from here um, but I think that since now is like it's a big thing you know big thing that they are going through um, I feel like um, You know, people are not okay with it. So in this episode, it kind of reflects on that. It reflects on how the mind of these people will work. You know, how, yes, since the economy, the way you live starts to change due to new people coming in uh, and people who might offer different things, who will be better trained, things like that. Uh, it will present to close-minded people as a threat, you know? Um, so I think that is very relevant of what they did. I, I, like I said, if, if Melissa wasn't on Broadway, I don't think they will have taken an entire episode to see how this guy went from, oh, okay, let's, let's, let's not call them roaches, let's not do that, let's not be xenophobic, to actually become a racist killer, you know? Uh, I don't think that we will have that if Melissa was in uh, in 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 Broadway at that time. Uh, but I think that uh, since that happened, that's why we have the episode now. Of course, for me, like I said, you know, uh, if you're not a xenophobe, if you're not if you're not racist, you will think that these people are just insane. And I feel like you know, ignoring people like this, ignoring racist, ignoring this type of people. Is it, it presents a bigger threat when you see someone be racist, uh, homophobic, xenophobic, anything that has to do with hate uh, because of the way you think and things like that. And if you stand by and you do nothing, it creates, it makes vulnerable people let to believe that it's okay, that it's not, that it's just an opinion. Which is just, it's not just an opinion, you know? An opinion is like, you can have, say, oh yeah, but they have, you know, we need to comp be able to compete in equal uh, 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 positions and like make it fair for everyone. Like you can have conversations like that. But if you say that they are the ones who are just taking away everything from you, that you are not uh, who you're supposed to be due to people who are more prepared than you, it's just, putting the blame onto someone else, you know? And I feel like if you don't pay attention to those type of people, people will start to form more groups and the thing, the problem will become even even bigger, you know? I think that ignoring those type of people is not the right thing to do. I think that you need to stand up, you need to educate people, you know, to be louder sometimes than the people who are saying all these stupid things. So I think that... Um, with all of this, with, with a guy who is just like that and who believes that, you know, even as, even if they're bad humans, they deserve the best just because they're humans. Uh, when they don't notice that 
there are bad elements like bad human beings and then there are also bad aliens good aliens bad aliens good people bad people you know um so i think that it was an interesting episode to see the beginning of this character to understand when where things went wrong for him when you know to understand and also you know i kind of like at, at a one point i kind of agree with him for instance his conversation with with james with them covering the things that they are that communities are suffering from the aliens attack i always wonder you know how are they able to rebuild everything like lives are lost and this is something that they touch also in the civil war movie the captain america civil war which iron man and captain america and the fact that you know there were people innocent people that also get, get killed due to what they were do, doing to save like they save a million but a thousand people die you know or a hundred people die and those lives are just as important as the million people that you save you know so when you see the repercussions and that that aspect i feel like james should have listened you know he, he shouldn't have just brushed it off at that moment that that conversation that he had i thought it was important i thought it deserved to be covered not from a Oh, all aliens are evil, but from the other side, you know, sometimes when you want to take someone's side, whether it's aliens or in our normal society, I don't know, uh, the, the black community, you also have to look, you know, everything that affects from confrontation, you know, uh, from, you know, even from, from this was happening, you know, his house got burned down because of a fight. Yeah, John, John saved him, but he was careless into helping them you know actually helping them and not having you know uh the struggles uh after what happened to him you know uh so it was a very interesting point of th something that i do believe that they should have touched uh on catco more than just numbers like he was saying but rather you know a bigger um uh a bigger story you know and he just dismissed him as it was nothing as it wasn't important and that is a thing that i you know this is the second time that someone comes to james first time being nia uh nia naya nia nia yeah you know telling them oh this is what you need to do but it feels like when it comes to uh someone presenting ideas he's like mm, no i don't think so like it has to come from him in order for him to say oh yeah this is a great idea if it's not it really doesn't affect him and he just brushes for, brushes that off and i just you know that is just so dumb and so egocentric and i i just and he i don't like james so i will always look for the bad thing and he was just being being just rude he even like the guy was still standing there and he was like yeah i'm not busy i'm not doing anything important it's okay we can talk like what the hell like be at least be decent be you know everyone that in that moment he didn't act upon him in any bad way he didn't talk to him in any racist kind of way so for him to treat him, treat him with a little respect would have been good not saying that oh it's james responsibility for who he became but just talking about that it could have been better you know um, of course, what he was doing at, at the university was just wrong. Following the girl to the bar, wrong, you know? All of that. But that is sometimes what happens when you feel entitled to have something, when you feel like you deserve things, even if you don't work for it, you know? Uh, yes, his dad uh, uh, factory just shut down because there's, you know, something better than steel and more strong and is more cheap to get it uh but if you don't move along with the world in the world how the world uh uh progress then you're gonna left in the past and you're gonna your business is gonna die down you know and lena had no responsibility to buy something that it was in the past if he was willing to you know keep moving forward then he will have actually worked together with some aliens, make the company even better. You know, and Lena shouldn't have been there at the, at the, you know, at the funeral, anything like that. Because 
I feel like she felt like she owned him something. She, she didn't. So it was very unnecessary that she was there. Uh, but anyways, I like the episode for what it represents to the overall story. Normally, you know, I will have not, like, I will have been okay with just knowing that this guy was racist and uh, xenophobe and that will be it. I wouldn't have needed an entire episode. I understand why they did it. Uh, so I'm just gonna give it a pass. Uh, now, Supergirl is in this containment uh, suit created by no other than the genius of this show. Because Brainy here, he said, twelve, a level 12 intellect, he couldn't come up with this. And Lena could, because that is the type of excellence and the type of queen she is. Let's be real. She, Lena, Luther is the one saving everyone's ass uh, all the time. And I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, it was Alex, the one who was like, you know what? You always do things to help us, even though sometimes we treat, treat you like shit. So thank you, girl. And I love that conversation. I love that it was, you know, about her recognizing uh, Lena's, uh, how, how important Lena is to the team. She was like, okay, no one here in the DO can do anything about it. I need to think outside the box and actually ask for help f from someone else's point of view. And Lena had this solution because that's Lena. She had it on her purse. She opened it up and she was like... Honestly, a queen. A queen. And even, like, she made the containment thing. She even put the Supergirl logo. She, the, if you tell me she's not in love, bitch, you are lying to yourself. Uh, but, yeah. So, they, this was a good episode. We got an Agent Corp a scene. No lames. Bless the Lord. We only had, like, a, a scene with James. It was a win, okay? Um... Uh, in that aspect, but in the other one, like I, like I said, I could have gone without this episode, but I understand why they had to do it. Um, and yeah, well, I hope that next episode, well, next episode is also without Melissa, so some uh, parts will be with Melissa and some other will be with the uh, uh, with the actress, the double, the send double that is with the in, and you know. Kara looks like a like a freaking Power Ranger, so we're gonna see how that's gonna be, and and yeah, so I I'm more looking forward to the following episode, which is episode five, uh, but we'll see how they develop next episode, what happens, and how they're gonna uh, clear the atmosphere of the Kryptonite. Uh, wouldn't it be safe for Kara to leave Earth now? Or I don't think that's the plan, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah. I hope that next episode is it's even better than this one. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video for Supergirl. Please, if you like this reaction video, give it a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and all those good things. Hit the notification bell in case you want to know every time I upload a new reaction video for Supergirl. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Supergirl. Mwah. Bye, guys.